right, let's mix the offbeat. So again, we will whack a compressor on there. Let's see if we can, that's better. So it rips the reverb out, uh, side chain. See what it sounds like in the mix. Limiter. Right, and then Pro Q. Let's see if there's any problem frequencies. Obviously, get rid of the lows, get rid of the highs. Oh, that's quite hollow, so we'll just cut that out a bit. Just subtle changes. Bypass it. Yeah, it's lost a bit of the edge, so let's bring that. It's not too bright, so we can leave that out like that. Maybe even try and add some highs into it and see what it sounds like in the mix. We'll put it over here. Right. Make it a bit louder. Disable that. That's better. With that, with the highs, it seems to lose the punch of it. So we'll keep that as that. Right, there's a rise here. So let's give that a hit. So we will see where it is in the mix. What we'll do is put a side chain on there. Sorry, let's put a compressor as well. And we'll just put a side chain on there. Just a gentle one. That's it. Compressor generally pulls some of it back out in a way. That's it, that's, that's punching through. Let's put an EQ on there, uh, limiter. Bypass it. Better. A bit, uh, a bit louder. A bit louder. Right. There's another drum loop here. So, try it with the compressor to start with. Hmm. No, don't like it. It's more full without the compressor. Cut the low end off. Made it a bit bright. It's like in the mix. Mm. High end on there. 
Right, let's quickly mix the vocal. We can be free. Right, let's add a bit of reverb. We can be free. Quite deep. What I tend to do is any reverb, I tend to put um, press it after. And then, so... We can be free. So you basically suck out all the... Um, the space with the compressor after. So we can be free. Let's just play around with this. We can be free. That's quite nice. We can be free. We can be free. Quite heavy. We can be free. Let's try it in the mix. So you lose it. Let's um let's just do Large space, it's still a hall. Let's try that. We can be free. Oh, it's... We can be free. We can be free. I want it larger than that. And let's try a plate, it's usually quite good. We can be free. We can be free. Let's try it in the mix. Right, I think we need a bit of EQing on that. So let's go to Pro Q, whack a intro on the output. So as you can hear, it's made it quite muddy, the um, reverb. So I might turn it down a little bit. Subtle. We can be free. Perfect. We can be free. Right, there's a bit of activity here. So we need to just basically we cut there. The free part. Sounds a bit we bright. So what we want to do is cut it out the S on that. So the free is obviously Sing. So let's bring the limiter below it. Let's see what that sounds like. We can be free. 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 That's better. So we can be free. And then with. We can be free. That's much better. We can be free. I might even do it a bit more. Let's move we it across. We can be free. We can be free. Right now we've got the opportunity to add some highs in there. And hopefully it doesn't... It's not we too bright. Right, so we want a bit of low end on that. We can be free. Bit of warmth. And then what we can do, put it back in the mix. high air filter on it. This one here, that's it. Listen out for horrible. It's quite nice there. So what I might do is boost there, just a tad. We can be free. We can be free. A bit hollow, but it's a nice effect. Just another tip as well: the wider the Q, as in the broader it is, the less obvious it is. If you do like a narrow Q like that. It's more obvious. We can be free. And that's sort of more we subtle. Can be free. Let's try it in the mix. We can be free. We can be free. More subtle. We can be free. Also, looking for some more horrible note sounds. Looks like around here. We can be free. Let's get rid of that. I'm happy with that. Right, 
let's start EQing some of the effects. Let's start with this. Doesn't really need much, just whack a limiter on it. Let's see what it sounds like with the compressor. It might not work, because it's obviously, it's obviously been um, processed. Take a little dynamic range, I know, I'll leave that off. Um, let's have a quick look, see if there's any problem frequencies. Again, cut the low end off, touch the highs off, and then just look through. Because it's moving, it's going to be quite hard to find stuff, but I generally find around this area here, it's a bit, a bit bright, so we just bring that back a bit. Um, I'm pretty happy with that, it's in the mix. Actually sounds better without an EQ on it, so hence why we do it. Yeah, so I might leave it off. See, that's why we sort of check stuff in the mix, see if we like it or not. Right, so I'm happy with that. Let's do the down lifter. Obviously, it's already got reverb and stuff on it. Let's whack a compressor just to pull it out a bit more. So you lose all the dynamic range. Just try turning the around the ratio. So basically indicating how much is being affected. So obviously when it hits, it goes, it controls to about minus 10. So we'll just do it subtly like that. Let's try it now. Like I said before, always mix it with the output is the same as the input. So you know if it sounds better or not, or just, just louder. So bring it up a little bit. Not doing much, but I'll leave it as that. Let's EQ it, see if there's any problem frequencies. Cut the lows out. Just tame the highs. Round it off. As you can hear, it's quite sharp there, quite harsh. Just cut that out. In the mix. Right, so we've got a similar sound with a sub sweep so usually i try to distort sub sweeps just a little bit because it pulls it you can hear it in the mix better again just bypassing it to make sure the gains same. Well, I'm happy with that. CQ it. Get rid of the stuff that you won't hear. Sometimes it's worth boosting at about 500. Because you can hear that. But obviously, because it's got a top layer on it, you're bringing up some hollow stuff, so you don't really want that. Boost it a little bit. Right, I'm liking the sound of that. Just get rid of some of the tops. That's it. I'm happy with that. Right, next. Right. It's already got a compressor on it. Mm, I can't really hear much wrong with that. Again, just cut the lows out. Sort of subtle differences that make a lot of difference in the entire mix. So just doing a few little changes here and there. Let's have a listen to if there's any problem frequencies. Right there. So we'll cut that back. Hear it. So that's what it sounds like. Let's cut that out. Try, try this one. Right, let's put a compressor on there. 
lost all dynamic range. No, we'll leave that as it was. Look for any problem frequencies. Cut the lows out. So you'll see what I mean by if you cut out sort of whistles like around here. Let's make it play. Let's cut that out. It's not the same anymore. Although we'll leave it on. But like I say, it tends to take away from, if you pull out like whistles from sounds like that, you can sort of change like change the sound. It's not as dynamic as it's not as punchy as it was before. Right, um, let's have a look. So let's do snare loop now. I'm not too worried about all these effects because they have already been pre-processed. So I'm not really doing much apart from sort of making it fit a bit better in my track and it's just basically cutting out some of the some of the uh, horrible sounds but yeah you lost all dynamic range so we could keep that and just dial it back a bit again oh, match it Sorry. Right, I'm liking that, it's taming it. So it's a lot quite louder. That's better. Right. Again, because there's quite a lot going on, we don't want to take too much out. Just cut the lows out. Look for any problem frequencies. But, yeah, so there's some horrible sounds around about here. There, obviously. There. Right, bypass it. Made a bit brighter. When you cut around here, it does tend to make it, and the low end, it does tend to make it sound brighter. Right, it's quite a lot of energy in it, so we'll leave it. It's quite bright there, just dial it back a bit. Bigger cue there. Yeah, as you can hear, it sounds much better. Let's just put it in the mix. Half past it. A bit bright now. Bring it back a bit. Last effect. Now let's try a compressor. On that. Right, you can hear it's quite a horrible whistle. Um, so we'll just get out a little bit. See? It's going to be there. Always. Oh, I like to round off the sound as well, as in take the lows, take the highs off. Limit on it. Might leave some highs, bring some highs back. Dial that back a bit because it's not standing out of the mix as much now, which I want it to stand out. So it's got emerging.
Right, yeah, that's it. Pretty much happy with that mix. Right, playing it from the beginning. There's too much reverb now. I can hear it. So dampen it, that's it. Fast forward it. So, after it's mixed, you can hear how much difference there is. Everything's a bit more alive in your face. Everything's punchy. 